Hello Sprouting and the STEM students, I'm your tutor for today, uh, Luke, and we're going to be talking about uh, some rocket aerodynamics. So let's get started. Luke, rocket aerodynamics? That sounds really difficult and complex. It is. Oh, don't worry. We're going to be only covering the basic beginner steps on how to start and build your foundation for rocket aerodynamics. Our learning targets that we're going to focus on today are going to be the four, four main forces that act upon a rocket, why rockets are shaped the way they are, and then rockets and their uses. To demonstrate uh, the beginning basic steps for rocket aerodynamics, we're going to construct a rocket. And to make a rocket go up, we're going to need some sort of fuel source. And for that fuel source, I'm going to be doing a chemical reaction called elephant's toothpaste. For this reaction, it is a very safe reaction, do not worry. We are going to need safety goggles, uh, some water right here, some dry yeast, you can get these in packages at the store like I did, uh, some dish soap, dish soap that makes the most bubbles, not like hand soap, uh, a bottle, two liter bottle if you want, uh, we can maybe do a test with a smaller one, uh, some hydrogen peroxide, 3% is the safest. Uh, for more violent reactions, you can use higher uh, percentages, uh, less diluted ones. And food dye is optional. I won't be doing that because I want to keep my backyard and a good amount of room. So we got, we got this whole place. You, you go, you're going to want to do this experiment outside. You can do it inside, but it can get messy. So if you do choose to do it inside, make sure you have an area that you can clean, won't get dirty. The hydrogen peroxide can stain clothes. Uh, so yeah, that's all you're gonna need. Start the reaction is simple. First we wanna make our catalyst mixture. Take a packet of yeast and put it into a container along with some water. Mix that up. This is making our catalyst. A catalyst is something that you can add to a chemical reaction that will speed up the reaction and make it go a lot quicker. We need the yeast in order to speed up this chemical reaction for the elephant's toothpaste to work. Once you have that stirred up, you make your second mixture with the soap and hydrogen peroxide. In this clip, we do not use enough hydrogen peroxide. You want to use around half a cup to a full cup of hydrogen peroxide in order to get a good, a good amount of foam and elephant's toothpaste. The four forces on a rocket are simple. Their weight, also known as the force of gravity, thrust, the force that propels that rocket upward, drag, the force that opposes the force of thrust and lift. Weight is pretty much the weight of the rocket. It's what's going to pull it down. It's like when you drop a ball and the ball goes to the earth. It's going to pull it to the center of the earth. Thrust is gained from your rocket fuel. In our case, this will be our elephant's toothpaste. Drag is also known as air resistance. Think of little air particles pushing on the rocket's head as it shoots up throughout the air. That's what drag is. And lift, lift is what's going to stabilize the rocket. Keep it going straight. Now, the reason why rockets are shaped the way they are, like why they have this nose shaped like a cone here, is to minimize drag. Less drag means that we don't have to have as much thrust to get the rocket as high as we want, go as fast as we want. So an overall, overall point is that less drag, the better, or the easier. So the reason why rockets are shaped with this cone and not like a rectangle type is to allow the air particles to almost slide down them, slide down them, not make these hard-hitting forceful contacts as they would if there were a, a rectangle right here. Now, the fins on a rocket are really meant for the stabilization. Without the fins, this rocket would just go out through the air and wiggle waggle all about. But with the fins, they really keep it on its course of path that it's going and keep it stable. They help out with the lift. As for how we can apply rockets, as you can see just by, from the SpaceX website alone, you can see rockets all around and how they're being used, especially with the mission that was launched just a few days ago, sending, sending the first few people on a SpaceX rocket into space. You can see how rockets are being used right now and how, how important they're going to be in the future when we try to send people to Mars.
When doing this experiment, please be safe and make sure you wear safety goggles. Rockets are projectiles and can be dangerous if not used properly. Please only conduct this ex experiment in stable containers and safely observe. So here is our next mixture. mixture. We're using uh, about a cup and a half of hydrogen peroxide, four tablespoons of water, two, we, we pretty much just doubled it, adding a little more hydrogen peroxide than we normally would. So we're going to put this in and then we're gonna seal it off and we're gonna increase the pressure as that builds up in here and hopefully we could get this thing up in the air.